hi, it's Sam all back in my pot garden. Right, it's been about a fortnight now since I did me onions and garlic. Just to show you how they're getting on. As you can see, there's practically everyone. There's that one that hasn't done anything yet. That one's getting a green top, so that's probably going to break through. And that one, there's a bit of green, so that's going to come through. So. They are my red winter. Seems to be doing alright. Uh, these have been indoors and have absolutely flying away. I mean look at the height of them. Uh, they have shot away. And uh, hard to see, but you can see the the roots are starting to come through the bottom already and for the red onions as you can see there's loads of roots coming through on this so doing really well almost ready for transplanting uh, into the final potting into the final pots for overwintering and these are my garlic and as you can see these are absolutely happy in this modular tray uh, I don't know what about this one can you see them there the bulb well the roots have grown you can see them see the roots down the bottom that bit where me nail is is the base plate the root plate and below that is all the roots well, the roots have grown that much to push the garlic bulb out of the soil but you can see there it is grown so i need to cover them roots up but if you look at them they're all doing absolutely wonderful that's what i like to see good strong healthy growth and they're not bad either because just looking at the stems the nice sturdy thick stems which is what I like to see um, this this one in the centre is one one two three leaves on that one so that one's really romping away but yeah all doing really well and well the roots see it all don't they absolutely fighting whoops which mean all whoops I mean the roots see it all as you can see they're all fighting to get out so these garlic are certainly ready to be transplanted so what I'll do the final transplant on Sunday when I've got a day off I'll do these and the onions as well uh, I've got some spare pots now so I'll uh, I'll put them up and get them settled in so that's a garlic and onion update hope you enjoyed it I've been in the garden this afternoon and well I didn't have time to sow well transplant the garlic and onions but I thought I'd make a little clip of just a few things that I've harvested this afternoon when I had the time. Um, the first ones are the 
key in chili and as you can see produced these all start to ripen now so I've had a little harvest as you can see um, there's uh, about 16 I saw there um, the there's about the same again still on the plant um, there's a sun which I've took off um, and I've started drying as you can see there starting to shrivel and uh, dry off so what I normally do is dry these right off hang them up which I will do uh, get them to just totally dry out and then using my coffee grinder um, grind them up uh, very carefully uh, because well certainly when I did me but gelotias they were really the dust from it really stung your eyes so I have learned when I do these to do it with the door open so there's plenty of fresh air comes in otherwise you end up with severe watery eyes but that's the chilies the other things that I have grown are my cucumbers and I've harvested two here um, they are roughly well that one's got a bit of a, a kink but two decent ones um, that one is not quite oops that one's quite quite thick I mean it's uh, about three, it's roughly about three or four fingers in diameter, which is quite good. But this one is my longest one, and as you can see, it's just over 14 inches, and it's, it's decent width as well so that's and um, i would say uh, i don't want to seem as i'm bragging but most of me telegraph have been maybe a little bit smaller than the certainly smaller than that one but about that size so my cucumbers have been very good my tomatoes well as you can see I've given a load of weight to friends and family. Um, the others, as you can see, are starting to ripen. There's some that have that have fell off as I've been picking, or they've just I found them on the floor, knocked or whatever. But they green, they'll ripen up soon enough. Being all in this container, but yeah certainly do or certainly have done well with me tomatoes this year and then this with the lovely green leaves is my beetroot and that's that's about tennis ball size uh, I'm go pull this one up there's about I don't know, five or six, slightly smaller than this one. So I'll pull them up and I'll pick them then because we've, uh, we've gone through one lot. So that'll be ready for another batch. But um, first, time we've, first time we've tried pickling it this year and they've been absolutely lovely so this is going to be part of our second batch but yeah beetroot doing well and the turnip the purple top of lands i picked earlier um 
Well, I cook that, and well, I'm no connoisseur of turnip, but in my books, it was really, really nice. So I'm not forward to cropping more in the future. Um, and well, that's that's a little bit about me harvest. Uh, this little clip is to show you my Chioquia beetroot. Uh, I've grown the straightforward, I think it was Detroit beetroot, which is just the normal ones you see in the shops. That's just red all the way through the beetroot. Um, but I saw these Chioquia seeds looked interesting looked quite bonny as well so i thought i'll give it a go um so i thought well there's one that looked mature so i pulled it up and i thought i'd just let you have a look and see what it looks like so this is it that's just a slice of it so instead of being this red colour all the way through it's got these circles of white going round it so it makes it look very nice very attractive um, I haven't tasted it yet so I'll cook it and see what it looks like the one good thing about this is is normally if you cut through an old beetroot my hands and everything that comes into contact with it would be stained red but I've handled this I'm even rubbing my fingers in it and as you can see they're not red so if you don't like the red staining of normal beetroot Give this one a go. It looks attractive. I'll report in another clip how it tastes. And um, well, it's not as messy. So that's your chiogi, a big root. Right, we this is going to be a little clip of my sweet corn. Uh, the they've been grown for an extra couple of weeks uh, since the last video I had about my sweet corn in. Um, I've got a little bit bigger. Um, so we'll we'll see what they look like because as I say the weather's getting cold so I don't think really that they're going to grow much more so we'll have a look and see what we'll get so my first one is going to be this one here which is the smaller of them so we'll have a little look and see what we've got so See what we've got here. As I say, I'm not expecting a great deal. Uh, let's try to get in. Right. This is a funny shape, so this one hasn't totally fertilised, but. Da, da, da. Right. Just remove the tassels. Uh, well, what can I say about it? It's uh, put it on. there you go. So. Some have got, I mean, those here haven't fertilised. Uh, 
Put this on there, that have. Oh, yeah. Here, I think that's that's spot on. The ones that are there. Uh, so I think so earlier I would have I think got some uh, decent sweet corn uh, so yeah promising I uh, might munch on that tonight uh, the other one uh, well it's the only other one really is that one there which is the biggest one so I'll take him See what I get with this one. So, oops, I apologize. Sorry about the camera work here. Uh, it looks a bit fuller. I haven't gone particularly long, but as I say, the weather's turned, so they're not going to get anywhere. Right, there we are. It's looking promising. fertilized ones at the top there but and there's a little area down here that hasn't done but that bit there it, it gives us hope for next year I'll give them another go get them done earlier uh, and see what happens but uh, the burn light the the one I did a couple of weeks back and they look spot on so I'll so we've got so we've got those two there I hope you enjoy that little reveal it's uh, not exactly a potato reveal but uh, it not as bad as I thought I thought I wasn't going to get anything to be honest but just a little bit of perseverance and you get a little something back as I say try next year make a note get them sown earlier and uh, we'll see what happens next year eh? okay see you later